Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, then does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping outward levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Wanna get this one updated here as some pretty interesting action going into Friday. And really it all revolves around this very short term pattern here that's taking place. Uh, which would be kind of a poor man's bear pennant pattern. Like I said, that's very just a, a quick rendering of it. Uh, but going into tomorrow, Friday, uh, you know, if the price does get a bearish breakdown to the downside of that pattern, uh, it would not be, you know, shocking at all to see the price potentially come all the way down here uh, to that pink line right there, which on my chart represents the 200 period simple moving average. And even if you have a very basic understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period and you know that, uh, you know, when levels are broken, it, it kind of acts like a magnet uh, to bring the price down to. Now, by no means does that mean the price for sure, 100% guaranteed is gonna go down there. There are no such thing as a guarantee. But in the event the price does get a break to the downside of that bearish pattern, then yeah, that would not be shocking at all to see the price go down there and at least retest, uh, you know, the 200 period moving average right now valued at 2182 but keep in mind it's a moving average meaning that line is going to move and change over time and that value is going to move and change but yeah right now it is at 2182 now in the event and to be fair and actually when you consider the final 30 minutes of the day where you had this good solid green candle in the event the price does break to the upside of that pattern that's where the other kind of the younger brother of the 200 period comes into play and that is the 50 period so younger brother up here, uh, that would be the next key level of resistance where the price very well could go up and do battle with a good strong break of that pattern. And you can actually already see in the past history, this has already acted as resistance once. While I'm not saying that implies that it will for sure act as resistance again, just historically speaking, uh, you know, and according to the story that the chart is uh, uh, telling us, apparently, you know, if the price does get up around that purple line, uh, that the price is really gonna need to bring its A game if it's gonna be able to fight above it and then stay up above it. But as of right now, kind of in a nutshell, 30 minute time frame, you have this bear pennant pattern. And, you know, depending on which way the price breaks from the pattern, you know, keep an eye on either the 200 period as a level of support support or the 50 period as a level of resistance. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.